Welcome to The Bus Life and welcome to Orlando, Florida. Today what I'm doing is I'm taking the sawzall and I'm cutting off all the extra foam that's sticking out that's going to be in our way when we're paneling. Alright, so right now I'm scraping off all the spray foam so we can put down this foam insulation tape so the metal won't be so hot. As you know, if you've been watching our videos, we are adding extra marker lights to the bus as some truckers call them chicken lights. <laughs> All the marker lights that are not in the rear of the bus are going to be like an amber color like that. Um, and these are like, for the LED version, these are the Supernova. I'll put a link where you can buy them in the video description. If you're looking for marker lights or chicken lights, this is a good way to go because it's cheap. You will also need the wire harness, which looks like that and plugs into the back. If you're doing a similar project and you wanna add more lights, it's, it's a pretty cheap option. I mean, I think they're like eight, nine dollars each. Um, even for just replacing your existing lights, it makes a world of difference going the LED because they're really nice looking. All right, so right now I'm gonna be taking out the screws and sanding this corrosion. It's when two metals don't like each other and so it causes this to peel and bubble up. I'm gonna be unscrewing it and sanding it down. All right, so I'm all done with this side. I might have to do the next. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Got that done. Yep, so we're all done with that, so. So a lot of you guys commented on our last video and you said, hey, why don't you guys run a blinker light about midway back on your bus? So we are listening to you and we're doing it. So we're adding, we're going ahead and wiring up right now um, blinker lights that will sit about midway back. So if you know a car is next to us and we flip our blinker on, they see that we're getting ready to turn. I've got this marker light coming through here, this marker light coming through there. So I'm gonna just center the, I'll put the blinker dead center of that and I'm gonna line it up with the same height as the blinker is up front. We're putting rubber grommets on here just to protect the wire. This is a shielded speaker wire that we're using um, but we want to put the rubber grommets on there just to make sure it doesn't you know cut through that wire ever. Um, and I went to Lowe's and because I wanted to get rubber grommets. And so I was looking in, you know, their special bins they have there. And they were like a dollar twenty for two grommets. So I went on to Amazon and I found this kit, which is 180 rubber seals and an assortment of sizes for 10 bucks. I'll put the link in the video description. So if you're doing a project like this, you can get yourself some rubber grommets that won't break the bank. All right, so we'll run over to the other side, drill it in, and then Julie's gonna run the wires for it. All right, Julie, you can push those wires through. Okay. Every once in a while I get an email asking about the equipment we use 
for making our vlogs. So what I've done is in the video description of every one of our videos, we've got a full list of the camera, the microphone, you know, all the stuff we use to make our vlogs. So if you are an aspiring filmmaker, you're someone who's looking to get into vlogging, you can go on to our videos and in the, in the video description, you'll find all the different equipment we have for filming. So our window for the driver's uh, seat arrived today. And this is it right here. It's 30 wide by 20 high. And actually it was a very difficult window to find. I mean, when we were, when I was kind of talking to my different contacts and different people at surplus places, they are like, that's a very odd size. But I needed something that would almost fit this full span in here and it was relatively tall. So um, I was able to find this. Now, if you're looking for a similar window, I will put the link to this window in the video description so that um, you can find it. Now I paid, I think, $1,000 for all the windows that go on this bus. Most of them were insulated windows. This one window was almost $200, but it was kind of like one of those things that I needed a big window for my driver's seat and it was kind of the last and only option. I'm gonna go ahead and do my cutouts right now. The last window on the new bus, right there. Now I gotta make sure it fits. It looks like it fits perfect. What do you think? I'd say it looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. All right. All right, guys. Well, we're kind of wrapping it up right now. And, you know, we got quite a bit done. As you're kind of working on a bus project, it seems like there's all this stuff. Like we've been on paint prep for days and days, just trying to get things ready. And you find more and more things that have to be done. So, but we're getting there and it's getting very close. So have a great evening. God bless. Bye. <laughs>